Hey all, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part and I will show you very nice details and teach you important parameters for sheet metal modeling. Let me open a new part and we together build this one. First in the font plane, I will create a sketch and then I pick a line, we draw something like this dimensions 22 and a half and 30 this looks good I close my sketch sheet metal base flange tab so material will be 2 millimeter and to give a value of radius for for a metal thickness equal to metal thickness is a good practice in sheet metal modeling because to know exact value, you need to know the tooling of your producer, your manufacturer, let's say. So that's why just keep close to these values and this will, this will always work. It will be reality, in reality a little bit different, but that's okay. So, uh, mid-plane option open, 80 millimeter length, and after this operation, we got something like this. First, I will create break corners here two times five this looks good and after this operation I wanna cut some things here we look normal to we create sketch and with a center rectangle I draw here something like this to be able to handle it correctly I connect center with an construction geometry because I wanna make it symmetric and I will have here 25 and here the distance will be 15 and this can stay like this I will cut it with 25 millimeter length okay oh it was 20 sorry 20 yes guys after this operation we uh, look normal to here I create a sketch and one more rectangle now we can use corner it's okay and to make it in center we can select a line and combine combine this say origin to center of this line with a construction geometry and we make it vertical so it is symmetric here I have one Leaving a distance of 1 is good, minimum should be 0 0.75, uh, these values will be ok. And I will create here a 20 mm length, but we will determine real length when we unfold it. So, uh, or flatten is ok, let's see what is the distance in reality. Because I want to have an equal gap of 1 everywhere. Uh, 4.21 so then I will move with this uh, uh, sketch 3.21 more sheet metal flatten we took it back at the sketch 20 plus 3.21 it's okay and then we close it and let's do one more time flatten and as a controlling I'm going to measure this one yes it is one also here one nice so sheet metal back flatten taken back sketch selected base flange tab merge result this is it and I will give some radiuses on the corners we can select uh, here break corner and we can make it radius here 5 then for this guys will be the value is 6 because 1 millimeter offset is there then we make 6 and the whole profile will be protected I select something wrong yes let's see one more time flatten it looks good okay so this is good and I will cut some other uh, important things. I can make unfold, collect all the bands, and part is open. 
When you bend parts, especially in the bending zones, there will be a lot of deformation. Most uh, generally, in the values of 3 and 4 and above, you will see this clearly. And for that reason, I have a habit of creating here a special cut to make sure that I do not have a protrusion. Because sometimes we are placing parts in a very critical areas and this becomes a very important parameter. So I have here an 8. I, I select these guys. Three of them, control pressed, and I make symmetric. And I will have a depth of 2. And then I will close here. Okay, radius 2 on this side. In fact, I can make it a little bit less. Yes, it looks better. And then I draw here a construction geometry in the middle. And I make mirror. And now we're going to cut it. Cut, link to thickness, and unfold. Collect all bands, or we can do like this. What is wrong with this one? Fixed face, bands to unfold. Okay, it gave an error. Normally, yeah, it should work like this. Yeah, I was doing wrong operation. Sorry. And this is good. Uh, we got a lot of things done. And then I will finish with some uh, nice radiuses and some other details will be there. And 2 is active. 2 millimeter fillet. Everywhere we're going to give 2. And we make sure there is no sharp edges. Sheet metal from a laser cut comes sometimes like a very sharp edge with edges and it can hurt people it's like a razor blade this it is dangerous so that's why we always have some radiuses also it is good good for machine okay i make a fillet with three surface i went a little bit fast but i will come back fillet Last option, full round, you need to select three successive faces and it will create for you this. This looks okay and uh, I will have here some holes, I forget in my earlier model. I will put this one, metric three, position, position will be at the center of this. Position will be here at the center of this, and it looks okay. And now I'm going to cut some things on top plane. I will look normal too. I will create here a sketch. This is my habit for of uh, for years. You don't need to do that, but I always position my uh, uh, any feature with the help of uh, this construction geometry. It is convenient. SolidWorks was not like this 25 years ago, so that's why I have this unique way of doing things. And I will have here a six and a half guys. It looks good. I select this one, Control selected. If you go to mirror, automatically it will be mirrored, and it is okay. Now we cut. through all it looks nice I will select a mirror this is the mirror surface this is the body mirror operation done only we are missing one central I create a sketch on the surface and I will place here a 12 millimeter hole if you don't want to use this you can use also all wizard. That's also a nice experience. Uh, how to say practice. Hmm. Yes, it looks good. And we completed it. And uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the like button and make comment, please. See you in another video.